Well, what about the other part? What does it feel like to hire the best lawyer I could find? You would sue? You really would? No, I don't know. Women like me don't stir up trouble. We play nice and do what we're told. I'll tell you what, Katie. Let's make this game interesting. If I win, I get to decide. If you win, you decide. If we're gonna play dead or fight. Okay, okay, I can't believe I'm saying this, but You won. Out of all times, you won. I don't want to make this decision, Char. I really, really don't. Come on, you do it. You're the one. I lost fair and square. Okay, okay. Forgive me, but I think we do the only thing we can do. This is disgusting. An absolute crying shame. Yes, I'll take your case. No one will make any money. You might not make any money either, but that's not the point here, is it? No. We can't, go to, we can't go to court with all you at the same time. We want clarity, impact, focus. And quite frankly, we need the most egregious and flagrant example of a miscarriage. Bluntly put, who's the biggest mess? I'm gonna need specifics. Specifically, I've been diagnosed with bone cancer, necrosis of the jaw, and extreme brain replacement. It's gonna get mean. It's gonna get dirty. It's gonna hit the papers, and God knows what they'll do to a story. Good, bad, or otherwise. You'll be called a victim, you'll be called an opportunist, you'll be called a saint, you'll be called a liar. That's how it works. You up for it? You wanna think about it? So that day, we walked down Michigan Avenue. We turned and headed towards the lake. Remember the last time we were here? It's been years. It was nice. It's still nice. It's just different. Katie, you know you can back out. You don't have to do this. I know, but that won't fix anything. That's the problem. Nothing can fix this. No, but someone has to let people know it's broken. It doesn't have to be you. It doesn't have to be any of us. We could just do... Shh. What? There. Can you hear it? What? The quiet. There. There. I needed that. One last time. Now I'm ready. Our case went to court. Our story went to press, and the press went to town. The tragedy is unfolding just outside of Chicago. The senators from the women are accusing the love company of foul play. The women alleged that the company, Radium Dial, knowingly compromised their health, safety, and lives. Each of these women are accusing the... Oh, each of these women are bringing their accusations before the Illinois Industrial Commission. In contrast, Radium Dial is known for its impeccable success for paying gen generous wages to unskilled workers. Dr. Dowski, in your examination of Ms. Donna E. Peterson, is it temporary or permanent? Permanent. In your opinion, is it fatal? I'd rather not speak in the presence of a witness. You've already spoken to Ms. Donna about her condition. Yes. So she won't be surprised. No. So I'll ask you again. In your examination of Ms. Donahue's condition, is it fatal? Ms. Donahue might live for several months under the proper treatment. And she's, and she's suffering from the illness of what? Radium poisoning. Acquired through, in your belief? Her work at Radium Dial. which may in fact be less than $700 a piece. It's embarrassing. If I had a penny for every lie they told. They're just trying to sell paper. They're trying to ruin you. Grossman warned us. Yeah, but do you ever think it would sound like this? Of course not. All my life, I've kept my nose clean. Our names in the papers are good name. People at work, man, I really know who your pals are in a time like this. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm taking you down with me. Do you want me to stop? And if I said yes? Listen, I'm going over to Denny's to fix up his roof for a few extra bucks. Do you mind? No. Huh. What do you want me to do with the papers? Burn it. Burn every newspaper in town for all I care. The kerosene are mine. <laughs> Made you laugh. Katie! Katie, what? Sorry, just us disgruntled women. 
read that through. Who could resist? We hope it's okay just barging in, but... We took some liberties with your pantry. We know it's hard for Tom with work, and it's hard for you to get to the store, so... We picked up a few things, left them in your kitchen. I can't accept that. I know you all meant well, but I can, can and you will, and we won't hear another word about it. Ladies, do you mind? Of course. Listen, I know you know it, but this lawsuit has changed things. I ran into Jenny at the store today. She turned away from me. I talked to Doris a few days ago. She acted like she didn't know me. It actually hurt my feelings. That wouldn't have bothered the old Charlotte. Yeah, well, the old Charlotte was younger then. How are they treating you? Most of the neighbors won't even talk to me, except for the occasional insult. A guy at Tom's work asked him why he can't control his wife. Said this is what he gets for having a wife that works. When did everyone we know become strangers? You know what they all think, don't you? I think I know, but tell me anyways. They say you just want the money. There isn't any money, or don't they read that part? I think they ignore it. They say you want publicity. It'd be funny if it weren't so insulting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I knew it'd be hard, but you didn't know it'd be horrible. It was up to me. I chose it. The old Katie beat you up for it. She was younger than you. Catherine Donahue? Yeah. You're my hero. This is me dying, isn't it? This is me. This is it. Tom? Tom, it's happening, it's happening! Shh. Shh. Don't let the kids forget me. How could they? Don't you forget me, please. Katie. Tom, this isn't fair. You left along with two kids. It shouldn't happen to you. Yeah. Tom? Yes, Katie? I'm not afraid of death. Really, I'm not. I'm just afraid of how I'll get there. Katie, no one on earth can hold a candle to you. No one in heaven can come close. by her husband and a friend. Once healthy and alert, she weighed 71 pounds and could hardly stand alone. Had just completed testimony with the guidance of her attorney. Ms. Donahue, you were at what age when you started working for the company? 19. Mrs. Donahue, please speak clearly for the record. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. And your specific work was to? I painted the wash faces with a powder, a radium compound. We would point the brush between our teeth, dip it in the water, then in the powder, but it caught everywhere. When I walked home at night, I glowed. From the radium powder? Yes, Your Honor. Can you tell the courtroom what exactly is in the box, Ms. Donahue? Two pieces of bone. Bones of what, Mrs. Donahue? They're mine. They were removed from my jaw. Street? Yes. Huh. What you thought? I was gonna hit you? You look good, Mr. Reed. Thank you, Mr. Donahue. How many washes did it did it take to buy all that, huh? Look, I just worked there too. I didn't know. I'm so tired. I don't even care that you're lying to me. They lied to me too, Mr. Donahue. Yeah, but at one point you knew. You knew. Excuse me, please. <gasps> Listen. From the moment I saw Katie, the first thing I thought, the only thing that ran through my mind was that there had to be a God, because he made her. That was the only explanation. I was going to grow old with this woman. I was going to die with her. Maybe I have. Listen, I have to get home to my kids. I have to tuck them be in before they go to bed. I sing to them. They sing to me. A lullaby, even though we're all too old for it. It makes us feel better. Sir, every morning I wake up and I wonder if today's the day I'm going to kill Rufus Reed. <laughs> I won my case six times. The Radium Dial Company appealed six times. After appealing on all six, they appealed one last time to the United States Supreme Court. 
Finally, the Illinois Industrial Commission awarded Catherine five thousand six hundred and sixty-one dollars on July 6, nineteen thirty-eight. She died 21 days later after fighting the company for seven years. Her case changed Illinois' law so that companies could be res held responsible for the uh, safety of their workers. She was a test. She was an experiment. She weighed 65 pounds. There is a god, and he's made of time. There is a devil, and he's made of time. There are angels, miracles, and sins, and they're all made of hours. On the shore with my friends, on the lake that last time. I watched the children play and thought of my boy and girl. I watched the husbands and wives and thought of the man I love. I walked to the water. I walked in. I stood there. Small ways and grace all around. Faith at the edge of the world. And I think, lucky me that I still believe in it all, even after all of this. And then a gift. A million clocks stopped in the city. Watches closed their eyes, their hands folded, their faces slept, and time stood, stood still, just for a minute, just for us. The moon came out, the stars came out. Time was kind after all, and I knew it was blessed to have held so much of it in my hands. In the quiet, in the water, I could see my face. Next to mine, the faces of everyone I love, the faces of my friends. Charlotte Purcell. Francis O'Connell, Pearl Payne. Of the other woman who worked so well, all staring back at me. In that moment, while time turned his face, we were all there, and we were shining.